Do you know that the Home Office is facing a legal action for banning care workers from bringing dependents or staying back with family in the UK? Yes, you had right. An organization is suing the Home Office for banning care workers from staying back with family or moving with family to the UK. They say it's discriminatory and it's bent on separating families. So what would this mean? Would this make the Home Office to change their minds and reverse their decision? We're going to go into the details of all these and more in today's video. So please stick around with me why we dive right into it my name is tochi you're welcome to my channel please give this video a thumbs up like it as you're watching if you get value thank you kindly share it to everyone that benefit from it so all my returning subscribers you guys are amazing you're welcome back to this video if you're yet to subscribe kindly do so because i share content on how you can move to the uk live in the uk and everything good so please consider sticking around with me Obviously, the UK has stopped care workers and senior care workers from moving to the UK with dependents. So if you're trying to get a care visa to the UK, you can get the visa and move. But if you have a family, you cannot move with your family, right? And this rule came into effect on the 11th of March, 2024. So this organization is saying that they do not agree with this decision because it is bad for business. It is discriminatory. It separates families and so much more. And they they are suing the home office for this here it is uk policy denying visas to children of care workers faces legal challenge right so action by organizations supporting migrants argues new rules are discriminatory so they are saying that these rules of stopping care workers from moving to the uk with their families spouse and children is discriminatory so an organization that supports migrant workers has launched a legal challenge against the government's new policy to bar care workers from bringing children and partners to the UK, warning that it is tearing families apart. And obviously, this is true because you're saying, oh, come to the UK, come and work as a care assistant, senior care assistant, take care of our families. But hey, you have to leave your families behind. Okay, so it's tearing families apart because the truth is, there is no doubt, there is no doubt that there is shortage of care workers in the UK. The UK government or the UK still wants carers, still wants care workers to come and work in the uk but the thing is you cannot come to work with your family so why do you want to move to the uk to work as a care assistant you have to prepare to leave your families behind so you either visit them or send them money monthly the money you're going to be making you know while working in the uk as a care assistant but they cannot apply to move with you as a dependent maybe they can visit or you can visit them right i guess this was what the home office had in mind when they banned care workers from bringing dependents to the uk so according to migrants as well care workers have to choose between family life with their children and partners or getting a job as a health or social carer in the uk they can no longer do both exactly so you have to choose between coming to the uk to work and leaving your family behind or you have to choose your family but if you are going to choose coming to the uk or staying back in the uk and working as a care assistant it means you have to leave your family behind they even went ahead to state that even students or those on personal work visa who are already in the uk and want to switch to a care worker visa from now cannot do that with their dependents so the controversial policy which took effect last month has been introduced at a time when the vacancy rate in the adult social care workforce is at almost 10 percent so a report from the Migration Advisory Committee estimated that 236,000 full-time care staff will be needed across the UK in the next 11 years. You see what I said earlier? There is no doubt that the UK is in demand, is in shortage of care workers. But the thing is, they need you, they need you to come and work and take care of their families, but they don't want you to come with your families, all right? So yeah, this is actually going to tear families apart. For somebody who really wants to move to the UK to work, you know, or somebody who is in the UK already as a student on, on a personal work visa or whatever kind of visa and really want to switch to a care worker visa, now you get the visa and you stay back. What happens to your family? Do you not have to say, oh, family, it's time to say goodbye to you guys i'll be coming to visit you or whatever i'll be talking on phone you guys you have to go back and i'll have to stay back to take care of these people's families and i know some of you would also say well it's a choice they didn't force anybody to stay back or apply for these jobs yes it's true but my point is it just doesn't make sense that people are coming to take care of your families you know they are going to be contributing to your economy paying their tax doing so much and then you want to separate them from their families anyway it's their country their country their rules right so the legal action argues that the policy is discriminatory on various grounds 
sports, including sex, race, and is in breach of the public sector equality duty. He claims the Home Secretary has failed to take into account the needs of care sector workers. That's very true because they have needs and separating them from their families is just going to be hard it's really going to be hard see guys this country is really hard like sometimes living abroad can be hard you know remember that the uk was posted or published sometimes to be the second most miserable country to live in and sometimes staying with your family makes it easier for you but if you're going to be staying alone doing all the job by yourself it's it's really really hard right staying with your family sometimes is even easier for you to cope with all the things going on abroad life abroad is really not that easy Akachi, the founding chief executive of migrants at work said the home office's change to the health and social care visa will further exacerbate the staff shortages in the adult social care workforce there has been a massive decline in number of care visas issued this year since the new arrangement or since the new rule came into effect and they're also saying that with this there's even going to be more decline because people who choose family over the jobs would obviously not apply for these jobs right so it's only mostly single people that will be applying for those jobs and then maybe people who really can do without their families for a while that are the ones that can apply for this job and then again single people who are coming here to work will they not get married in future so these are some of the things that they did not really consider or maybe they just didn't care they just want to cut down legal migration and that's the point their whole aim their focus is just to cut down legal migration without really considering or thinking much about all these things so this organization is now you know giving them some points some of the reasons why they think this rule is very unfair on top of this carers who want to come to the uk are now facing an individual's choice either they take up a job that will contribute to the delivery of social care at a time of crisis in the uk or they continue living with their children or partners exactly so the new rules will not allow them to do both we have also seen cases where prospective care workers have been told they have to leave the uk since the new rules have come in yes on the basis that their children are not permitted to stay in the uk as their dependents their new rules are already tearing families apart and the impact on the wider care sector will be disastrous yeah so imagine the impact is going to have on children children who have moved to the uk right they have moved they have told all their friends back in their home countries you know say they are goodbyes moved to the uk they are now in school doing so well you know just when they are still trying to adjust to their new environment and the new country making new friends you know their new school and everything the next thing is you're coming to tell them to go back to their home countries that they can no longer apply to stay back in the uk as dependent right like like guys you guys just think about about it i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comment section please because it doesn't make sense so this is what the organization is saying that these are some of the things that is affecting is affecting children it's affecting partners as well so this is what the organization is saying that these are some of the effects of these new rules especially on children that is really affecting children so um jeremy bloom a solicitor at duncan lewis representing migrants at work said the home office still had an opportunity to ditch the new rules and save on the expense of litigation he added we haven't seen any evidence that the home office has probably considered the impact that this will have on people coming to the uk on health and social care visas on the vulnerable individuals who need access to social care or on the wider system of social care he accused the home secretary of ignoring the impact this would have on staff strategies in the social care sector yes guys it's really going to affect the social care sector it's going to be staff shortage of course the government is saying that there's still shortage and for them to have still left this visa open or this pathway open it means that they still want workers it's just that they don't want you to come with your family okay they want you to come and work they need your services but they don't want you to come with your family this is just what he's saying because according to them one person coming to the uk to work will bring like you know five dependents for instance you're coming with your spouse and then three or four children that's five to six dependents so they don't want that right so they really have issues with the but they don't have issues with the workers or the individual coming to work they have issues with you coming with your dependents because of course dependents make the higher number of these care visas so yeah like i explained just imagine one person coming to work with more than two or three dependents so this is just what they are considering or this was what made them to make this decision instantly without really thinking about the implication 
So the Secretary of State is clear that a full impact assessment was not carried out prior to the introduction of this policy, which raises very serious concerns about whether he has complied with the public sector equality duty. A government spokesman said care workers make a vital contribution to society, but immigration is not the long-term answer to our social care needs. An estimated 120,000 dependents accompanied 100,000 care workers in the year ending September 2023 so these numbers are unsustainable which is why reforms are now in place restricting care workers from bringing dependents with them right so to what i stated earlier that there were more dependents than even the care workers that came to work in the uk okay but then again they gave these visas out you gave these visas you granted the, both the care worker visas and independent visas and then you're making it look like these guys are at fault or it's their fault that um the number of people that came into the uk is so much but you were the ones that granted them assets they are legal migrants but anyway guys this is what the organization is saying and they're asking the home office to reconsider their decision do you think that the home office would change their minds because of this you guys i want to hear what you think honestly in the comment section for me i just feel like the home office is just focusing more on legal migration when they have so many illegal migrants and illegal migration to deal with right but let's not even go into all that but yeah the truth be told these visas were granted by the home office okay they're not even denying the fact that there is shortage okay the shortage of care workers in the uk the shortage in the care sector yes there is so they want you to come and work you know they need you to come and work for them take care of their families pay your tasks contribute to the economy of the country and all of that but the thing is you have to leave your family behind and for those with families already in the uk you have to just say okay stay back get your visa as a care worker stay back and work in the uk but you have to take your family or your family would have to go back to your home country right so this is just what this organization is saying and they're not asking for too much honestly i think they should really reconsider this in my own opinion i feel like there is still a way they can take care of this to cut down migration to the uk they can maybe have a number a maximum number of visas they grant every year or something like that they can just put a cap on the number of people coming to work in the uk and even with dependence in consideration and all that instead of just stopping care workers totally from bringing dependents because this would not only separate families it would also create more shortage in this sector but anyway it is their country their rules let's just see what happens in the coming months you know in the coming weeks months i feel like they're still going to change their minds they're still going to reverse this decision because it is not sustainable to be honest it is not like this organization is saying it's going to create more shortage in the sector and obviously it's going to tear families apart it's going to you know affect children a lot especially there are so many things they didn't put into consideration and so they really need to consider it they need to reconsider their decision because if you also look at it the student sector is also suffering as well you know they also stopped students international students from bringing dependents to the uk right and this has affected universities universities are laying off staff yes and the money is not coming in anymore you know how much international students bring to the uk how much revenue these guys make from just studying an international student alone that is not coming in as well because the number of people applying to study in the uk also reduced i'm sure they'll be like why would i come and study in the uk if i cannot come with my family and they made a lot of changes as well you know students cannot switch to a work visa except they complete their study they cannot bring dependents then they work for just 20 hours a week and all of of that so these are the things that these guys are considering so there's been a massive drop in number of care workers in the uk or number of care visas issued you know this year already and there's also been a massive drop in the number of students coming to study in the uk so this has really affected universities negatively they're beginning to lay off their staff you know they're not just getting the amount of money and support they're getting anymore and you know everybody's just asking the government to reconsider this decision they should just find a way yes you want to call down legal migration to the uk we understand all that because there's a limit to the number of people you can take right but they should just find a way of doing these things so that it doesn't really affect their economy badly but yeah that is it i, I just saw this and i decided to come and share with you guys i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section i'll see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.